Welcome, and thank you for joining us at our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. Tonight, we're reflecting on Psalm 51. As we begin, calm your heart by taking some deep breaths. Try to get as comfortable as possible. Today is finished. It is time to hand its joys and its burdens to the Lord. Come now as you are and surrender yourself to his mighty power and his love at work within you. Be still and dwell in his word of life and hope. Father, you know the ups and downs of today and the mistakes that weigh on my mind. Thank you for your grace towards me. Help me to rest in your forgiveness and love tonight. Psalm 51 verses 1 to 2 says, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, Blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. King David took another man's wife, got her pregnant, tried to cover it up, And then when all else failed, had her husband killed so that he wouldn't find out. How do you even begin to confess and find restoration from something like that? Did David grovel, plead and beg? Did he promise to do better, to make up for it somehow? Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, he said. David knew that he deserved God's justice, but he asked him for mercy. He didn't try to minimise or justify his sin. He agreed with God completely about the awfulness of what he'd done. David didn't try to bargain with God. He simply came to the Lord for cleansing, for forgiveness, for healing, for restoration, for renewed delight and salvation, and without anything to offer in return. Guilt and shame are heavy weights in our hearts but God's grace is always bigger is some sin making your heart heavy there's only one thing required for us to be cleaned whiter than snow confess your sin tonight to the God of all grace For through Jesus Christ's sacrifice, he is able to forgive even the very worst offence. As we turn to prayer, breathe deeply, working out any tension through long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. 
do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart and become aware of the presence of our almighty God who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. And in. And out. And in. And out. Let's pray. Dear Lord, in humility, I confess tonight the sin in my heart. Thank you that you show mercy and grace in abundance. Help me know your cleansing love this evening. Lord God, create in me a new heart. Give me passion for your ways, joy in your forgiveness, desire to share this grace with others, and steadfastness in your spirit's power. Psalm 51 verses 14 to 17 says, Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are God my Saviour, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O oh God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, Thank you that your grace is enough to cover every failure. Thank you that you promise to forgive me when I confess my sin. Thank you that full judgment has fallen on Jesus Christ, not me. Thank you that I am free to bring you my praise for all eternity. Thank you, almighty God. Amen.